Welcome back, guys, to some more MLB The Show, Road to the Show, with our third baseman, Everett Scott. I am Scott Games, and today we are going to be wrapping up this season with the Phillies. We have started to slump hard, because when I last recorded, we were still on top of the NL East. Now, as you can see, we are nine games back of the Atlanta Brave. We are one game behind the New York Mets. And I was incorrect. We are taking on the Braves. I mentioned in my previous video, my NHL video, that I believe our last series was against the Mets, but it was not. But the last series we had against the Mets, we won the series 2-1. to one. Now, I am very confused here because we obviously will not win the NL East like I was hoping we would because we decided to slump at the worst time in the season. But what it says here in the NL wild card is it says we are one game back of a wild card spot. But what I'm confused on is it says uh, E with the pound symbol next to it, and it says three. Now, from what I've looked up, that is like it. I know it's the elimination number, but what I'm confused on is so if we win, does that mean we have to win three games? in order to make the final wild card spot or does that mean if we lose three games we don't make it or does that mean it's like if we lose three they win three or if we like uh lose two they win one or something like i don't know how it works like if the mets win two we lose and but we lose one does that mean they still make it and we don't or like, I don't know how it works, because in the NL East, it says we're already eliminated. But obviously, that's because there can only be one division winner. So, I don't I don't know. But I guess we'll find out after today's episode. But we will only be doing this three-game series against the Braves, because if we go to the playoffs, I'm obviously going to make that a video of its own. And if we don't, then... That's it. I don't want it to just be a three-game set. So, what I have done is I had 15,000 stubs that I don't ever really plan on using because I have all the equipment and all the perks that I need or that I want. So, I decided to hop on hop on over to the show and I spent 15,000 stubs on a pack of or 10 packs of cards here. But I also have a bunch more stuff than just that. I have 14 regular packs. I have one silver player pack and all this other stuff. So we're gonna do a little bit of a pack opening before we get into the last three game series of the season. And we will start it off, we will start it off with this equipment pack. So nothing exciting. I have these already, so I might as well take these Adidas. There we go. And then we'll open this Legend Bat skin. It doesn't really matter which one we take. I have this one, and I have that one. So you know what, we'll go with the 1989 to 2010 Ken Griffey Jr. C271 Ash Louisville Slugger. There we go, now we'll do, I have two of these, so let's do one of the unlockables in the central. Do I have any of these? No, I do not. Hmm. Now, obviously, I won't... Oh, okay. I didn't know that you could actually unlock different uniforms for Road to the Show. I thought this was all for Diamond Dynasty or Franchise. That's interesting. So, like, if you go to the Milwaukee Brewers, you can use this uh, Road uniform. I didn't know that. That's kind of crappy how they don't just give you the uniforms, but it's whatever. There aren't any Phillies uniforms, so... I see the Cubs. I got to pick the Cubs, but we get one more. Um, I really like that Pittsburgh Pirates outfit. That White Sox one ain't so bad either. But you know what? I'll go with that one. Okay, now we're getting a bat. I do have uh, I do have the the Phillies one for this, but I don't think it's in here. Yeah, we got the Brewers, the White Sox, the Tigers, the Reds. Cardinals, Guardians, Pirates, Cubs, Royals, and the Twins. Well, I always got to go with the Cubbies. And then 
Hmm. I like that Pirates one. We'll go with that. And then Icons. Pick the Cubbies. And then... Hmm. I like the Brewers one. All right. Now we have a Flashbacks and Legends from the NL. Let's open one of these. Do I have any of these? No, I do not. So we have Rob Nen, Robin Roberts, Sean Doolittle, Noah Syndergaard, and Warren Spahn? Span. Um, who's a better overall? Sean Doolittle or Warren here? He's a closing pitcher. He's a starting pitcher. Never going to use these, but I like starting pitchers better. Keston Hiura. Chris Bryant. I see a cubby. I got to take it. Sorry. Herman Marquez. J.D. Martinez. I don't really have a... I don't really have a... bias here. All right, we'll go with that. So now we will do the flashbacks and legends from the AL side of things. Okay, Awesome Meadows, Eddie Murray. I don't really have a preference for this one. Um, we'll go with Awesome Meadows, I guess. Jose Abreu, Zach Granke. I'll go with Granke. We'll just go with that one. Wait, what'd that say? Okay. I don't like the no-sell ones. So we'll go with this one. Okay. We'll do the NL one again. I guess this time we'll go with Sean Doolittle. And then I picked Chris Bryant last time. Okay. I guess I'll pick... Orlando Cepeda. And then... I guess I'll go with Herman Marquez. There we go. Alright, let's get this silver player out of the way here. Alright, he's a gold. Flip him. Dylan Cease. Okay. Alright, we'll do half of the regular packs. Then we'll open these unlockables. And then we will finish off the regular packs. See if there's anything exciting here. Nothing. Nothing. Whole lot of nothing still. Okay. This is going to go by a lot quicker than I figured it would, which is good. I'd like to at least get a gold card. That'd be nice. I don't expect a diamond, but hey, there we go. Hunter Renfro. That's a good one. I'll take that. All right, so there's half of them. Uh, we'll go with the... We'll go with the East. Okay. Okay, so we got the Braves, the Phillies. Wait, no. You you don't unlock them for Road to the Show because I already have this one. This is the one they want me to use all the time when we're on the road. I don't get how it works, but... Okay. Um, that Braves one is kind of cool. Marlins, I like that one. You know, I'll go with that Marlins one for that one. That one's good. Um, I'll go with that one. And Icons, you got the... I was going to say the Fanatic, but there he is. I'll go with that one. And... We'll go with him. Yeah, I have this bat already. 
So I think got the Nationals, the Orioles. We'll go with the Blue Jays and the Marlins. There we go. So now we'll do the West. Got the Mariners, the Athletics. Is that an elephant? Okay. Angels, D-backs. I love the I love these Giants unis. I, I just like the orange. That's good. Um I guess we'll pick the Mariners one. And then I will pick Um Pick that and then we'll pick that. There we go. Okay. Go with the Angels and the Mariners. There we go. Now the final unlockables. We got Kansas City, the Twins, the Cubs. I already have that. Go with the Twins. I like that. And then I picked the Pirates last time. We'll go with the pinstripes for the White Sox there. Uh, I kind of like the Cardinals one is pretty good. Go with the white sock. Oh, okay. Yeah, I was confused there a second. We'll go with that one, and we will go with this guy. There we go. Now into the final seven packs. How cool would that be if we pulled a diamond? I doubt it. Okay. Got a gold. Nico Horner. I gotta like him. Okay, so we got two golds out of the regular packs. That's pretty good. Oh, there we go. Okay, got an outfit. Four packs left. Okay, so we've got three gold things from regular packs. Two players, Hunter Renfro, Nico Horner, and a Giants Uni. All right, now we got a Mets Uni. So four gold items out of 14 regular packs. Oh, we got a diamond and a gold. We got a gold Jameson uh, Talon. And then we got a diamond stadium, and it is Sheeb Park. Okay. So we did get a diamond. It wasn't a player. Nothing exciting. All right, but that will do it for our little pack opening. Okay. Um... Frank Schwindel's injured. Yeah, one of the major things that really screwed us over, though, was uh, Bruce Hooper got injured for a long time, and Ranger Suarez was also injured for a long time. Frank Schwindel damaged knee cartilage. That does not sound fun. So who do we have on first, then? We have Mountcastle against... Well, isn't there a... I don't think they have that rule in this one yet. So yeah, Mount Castle is our first baseman. Okay. All right. Well, without further ado, guys, we are going to get into our final home series of the year and our final series of the year. It's do or die time. I want to get the sweep over the Braves. They've already won the NL East. These games don't mean anything to them. They mean everything to us, though. So let's see if we can get these three games in the win column all right bringing us right into it i didn't have to skip anything there okay it, make sure everything's still good here all right veteran why did it skip everything like that though yeah everything's still the same anyway it doesn't matter so we have Segura on first. That's good. One out. Alright. Oh, whatever, ump. Yeah, I've grounded into a lot of double plays, which is not good. Definitely got to work on that. That's been a major problem when I have a runner on first. Can't believe that was called a strike, though. And that is a slightly late hit into right field. And it will die at the track. And Segura will have to come back to first. 
Not a good way to start off. Back here in All right, top of the third now. Losing one nothing. Getting some defense in here against Dansby Swanson. Pitch. All right, right to me at third, over to Mount Castle at first. And there we go, one gone in the third. Back up to bat here, bottom of the fourth. No one on, no outs. Leading things off here. And I strike out. Still haven't gotten any better at that. Typically likes to shoot the ball the other way. He just pitched me really well. All right, we have a two. I almost said a two-goal lead. We have a two-run lead over the Braves. Bottom of the six, leading things off again here. 0 for two. Do not want to go hitless. And that'll be a simple grounder, too short. And that'll be the first out of the inning, the bottom half of the inning, I should say. All right, bottom of the seventh. No one on, two outs. 0 for 3 here, up by 3. I got to get something here so I can at least say I did something. And that'll be a hit, but it'll once again be a little grounder, too short. Not a good day. But we hold on to get the first game. I don't know what I was trying to say. We hold on and we take game one of this series. All right. On to game two where I can hopefully have a way better performance. All right. Game two. Bottom of the first taking on our former pitcher, Aaron Nola. Got a runner on first with one out. Do not want to ground out into a double play. All right, a full count. Slightly late, and that will be a fly ball in center. And I am hitless through five at-bats so far in this series. All right. We are 0 for 5 so far. We cannot go 0 for 6. We're up by 1. And that'll be a grounder to short. 0 for 6 in this series so far. I'm slumping. Bottom of the fifth. 0 for 6 in this series. 0 for 2 in this game. Up by 3. Hopefully I can get something going here and break out of my hitless slump. And that is going to be another grounder. This time to third. 0 for 7 in this series. Bottom of the eighth now. Up by two. No one on. Leading things off here. And I strike out. So I will go hitless in the first two games of this series. But we managed to hold on and get the win. We just need to win one more to sweep the Braves. And hopefully that means we'll make it into the wild card game. All right. Losing one nothing in the bottom of the first. I am hitless so far in both games. We got to change that here in game three. I'm keeping you around for everything. I don't care. Very early on that slider. I felt like I sat on that, but obviously did not. All right, come on, Soroka. Pitch me something good. Not good at all. Don't know why I swung at it. I'm just getting very antsy here at the plate. Very antsy. Going to go contact swing here. Just hoping to get something. Oh, that was decent. Very early, though. And it's a home run. Tying things up here off a contact swing. 69 homers on the season, beating last year's record of 68. And that was all me this year. I have not simulated a single game other than that one that I accidentally simulated because I tried I tried to go too fast. I was hoping we could break the single season home run record. I need five more to do it. But I do not think that's going to happen unless I can go on an absolute tear in this game. But I don't think I'll have that many more at-bats. Switch hitter batting right. 
but it just gives us something to aim for next year. But we are tied at the top of the third. No one on one out. Kershaw's pitching well. Get out of here. I'll get it. There you go. Why did I throw it like that at him? I could have just done like a little toss. All right, but back up to bat. Up by one run now. Got a solo bomb in the first. We got Segura on first. I thought I sat on that one again. The freaking sliders, man. See what he pitches me here. Yeah, the right hander deals. Hot shot to oh, that's going to be the out at second. Thought I sat on that one too. Good play from the third baseman, though. Bottom of the fifth now. Two on with one out. One for two, so I will not go hitless in this series. But I obviously don't want to have one home run in this series and that be it. I want to get something else. I want to get more. There we go. One and all. Good way to start the count. I just got to get back into the into the habit of not swinging at the first pitch because I was doing that for a long time and it actually worked out really well. I was hitting very well. So just need to force myself to not swing at the first pitch no matter what because eventually they'll throw one to you. You just got to show that you have patience. Fucking circle change. I thought I sat on that sucker. 2-1 count. Do not want to ground out and do a double play. Shouldn't have swung at that. I should have just taken the strike because, yeah, it was right there on the corner. But it could have been called in my favor. You never know. But I'm going to go contact again here. Fouled that off. Slightly late on that. Slightly late. That's going to be a little, a little blooper. And it will not be a double play. Runners on the corners. All right. So two down. Bruce Hooper, he's over two with two strikeouts. It's a full count with two outs, so I will be on the move. Tries to pick me off. You're not going to get me, buddy. I'm hoping Hooper just absolutely bombs us out of here. Oh, sh come on, dude. I'm not going to. I'm obviously going to be running because it's a full count with two outs. Well, I guess that's exactly why he'd be trying to pick me off, catch me off guard, because he knows I'm going to be moving regardless. Two outs. And, that's ball four. and Hooper gets walked, so bases are juiced with two outs. Schwarber, he's up 3 nothing. He going to walk in a run? I've seen it happen a lot. And that he does, so we are up by two now. Ryan Mountcastle, 0 for 2. He's 2 for 10 in the series with a home run and two ribbies, but in this one he struck out and popped out. Come on, Ryan. It's just a little blooper, and that will end the fifth. Did get another run, though. Acuna Jr., 1 for 2 with a double in the fourth with a runner on first. Try and turn two here. Not good. How is, did Andrew Heaney start this game? I don't know. I wasn't paying attention. If he didn't, then holy crap, he's not pitching very well. Because he's already at 80 pitches. But I, he must have started. But we got a new pitcher in now. So I guess it doesn't matter. Alright. Could have tagged him, maybe got the triple play, but at this point, just go for the guaranteed double play. Go for that guaranteed double play. Well, not guaranteed, but just got to go for it. Hey, we get two more runs. I'm one for three in this series. I think so far the Braves, in this series, I think the Braves have got two runs total, or three runs total. They've got one run in each game so far. Okay. Okay. All right, one and all. Good, good. Who's on second? Urias. Roman Urias is on second. He's in scoring position. And that's going to be popped up. Not good. 
All right. Bottom of the eighth, up by six. I want to finish the year with 70 home runs. Finish it with a nice even number. Oh, I, I waited on that slider. But I'm still early. How? Ah, I feel like I freaking waited for like an eternity on that slider. All right, 2-1. Ahead in the count. Just pitched me a slider. He might go with that uh, cutter. Kicks and fires. Perfect, perfect into center field. Only going to be good for a single, but it indeed was a cutter, so I called that right. I feel pretty special so now. Sound in his mechanics. Hits against a firm front side. And All right, but Bruce Hooper, one for three with a single in the seventh. The middle of the field. Full count for him. I'm not going anywhere. Just throw the ball. <laughs> Why'd I... Why'd I say ball so weird there? Hooper. That's down. I'm getting to third with that. All right, so runners on the corners thanks to Hooper's blast in the center. Good job, Hooper. Nice crack into the gap there. Schwarber, two for three with two singles, a ribby, and a run. No outs still. Oh, he's bunting. Oh, come on, dude. How'd you not dodge that? If that was me, I would have dodged that. Pull some Matrix shit on him. But we get every win over the Braves. All right. Now it's time. Time to see if we made the postseason. This, this would be the first year with the Phillies that we have not made the postseason if we did not make it. 500 career hits. Nice. Good way to end this season. All right. We made it. We made it into the wild card game. Or is it a playoff game? I think it's a playoff game. Yeah. It is a playoff game. It is a playoff game between the Phillies and the Mets to see who takes the final spot in the NL wild card. You know what? We're keeping this in, and we're playing it right now. We are at home. Okay. So it's do or die time. We are both tied 88 and 74. One of us is going to finish the season 89 and 74, and the other will finish 88 and 75. Okay. Whew. Let's do this. Hit the table. Let's jump into it. Oh, we got some training here first. Uh, we'll just go with the contact. We'll get that up. Keep it. All right. It's all come down to this. Game 163. I want to see if they say anything uh, unique about it. Welcome in, everybody. Glad you're with us. The show brings you a matchup of division rivals. It's the New York Mets taking on the Philadelphia Phillies. Along with Chris Singleton, I'm John Chomby. And a couple of division rivals going head-to-head -to -head today, Siggy. I think when these two teams match up, that regardless, you're looking to bury that other claw because of what they've done to you over the course of the season. You figure, hey, it's my time to return the favor. Okay, so they they aren't really saying anything. Just about set to go down. Yeah, I, that's kind of that's kind of upsetting. In all honesty, I figured maybe they'd say, "Oh, game one sixty three. Whoever wins advances to the postseason or something like that." You know? Whoa, just moved my table. Whoops. But yeah, it's kind of 
Kind of a bummer that they didn't say any of that. Alright, losing 2 nothing already. Not good. Could finish with 70 homers if I get one in this game. We have to win. Not good. Slightly late on that, and that's going to be a pop out at first. Not good. Not good at all. Back up again, bottom of the fourth, a runner on with no outs. Get a homer here. It's all tied up. Got to be patient here. Hello, Zoe. She's in my lap now. There we go. Hit in the left field. There we go. Not going hitless in this one. Schwarber's up next. He's 0 for 1. So we got Ahmed in front of us. Come on, Schwarbs. Come on, Schwarbs. You got this, buddy. It's going to be a double play. Ah, well, hopefully we can get that runner from third home. No, we can't. We, we give up two more runs. If I get a bomb here, we're one run away. We got Hicks and Ahmed on first and second. Fouled that off. Come on. The lead runner out at second. Ahmed at first. Let's do One something ball. here. Now this is in the it's air down very late. It's going to be out and right. And he's not going to tag up at second. So the Top of the seventh. Defense time. Still trailing for nothing here. The pitch. I got that. Get away, Urias. Throw it to second just in case. All right, bottom of the ninth, trailing 6 nothing. Unless we can have a late game rally, it looks like our season is going to be done. Walker's going for the complete game shutout here. Not even at 100 pitches yet. He's pitching an absolute gem. And a little blooper. What the hell is that? <sighs> and the Mets will beat us 6 0 in game 163. And they will go on to face the Brewers in the wild card game. But I'm not going to end it here yet. We're going to see how the playoffs roll. And we'll see who wins the World Series this year. But I got to get a thumbnail quick, so. I will see you guys in a quick second. The Phillies have finished the season at 88 and 75. Unfortunately, this wasn't good enough to make the postseason. Well, we had an extra game to decide, and we could not do it. So now, in the wild card game for the NL side, it is the Mets and the Brewers. I hope the Brewers. I hope the Brewers get rid of them. And then over in the AL wild card, you got the Detroit Tigers and the Angels. Then you got. The Astros, the Guardians, either the Tigers, the Angels, and the Blue Jays. You got the Braves, the Dodgers, the Mets or the Brewers, and the Cubs. All right. Let's see how things go here. I didn't want to simulate that far. I just wanted to simulate a day, dang it. Okay. Interesting. So, the Mets beat the Brewers in the wild card, swept the Cubs, beat the Dodgers in seven, and they are up 3-0 over the Guardians. Solid. Very solid. And the Mets defeated the Guardians. That's good. That's good. You love to see that. All right. We'll check out all this stuff. Okay. Don't know if I know any of these guys. Wilson Ramos. I know that name. If there's any names here that you guys know, you can let me know in the comments. Corey Kluber, I saw that one. Miguel, or was that Miguel Rojas? 
Yeah, Miguel Rojas, I know that one. All right. No Hall of Fame inductees. All right. Well, guys, I am going to wrap it up there. It took an extra game for us. It took 163 games, and unfortunately, even though we swept the Braves, we could not get past the Mets, the World Series champions, the Mets. But hopefully next year, we can actually, we can actually get back to the World Series and win it. Ah, well, disappointing end to the video, but I still think it was an entertaining and good video nevertheless. So if you guys enjoyed, make sure you hit that like button, comment, and subscribe. Do all those things. Helps me out a ton. YouTube loves it, and I love it too. And until next time, guys, take care. Mm -hmm.